Chapter 227, Executing Luigi. This unexpected change didn't even give Zeus and time to react. Snap. A crisp crack rang out from his neck as it broke, with blood gushing out like a geezer as it splattered everywhere. His eyes rolled up into their sockets like dead fish going belly up. His hands clawed wildly in the empty air, trying to shake off the golden shadow on his body, but to no avail. This abrupt development completely flabbergasted his four men. When they came to their senses, they leapt forward, wanting to save Zeus San. Zeus San used all the strength in his body in order to maintain a death grip on the golden shadow while screaming out raspily, Run, run. Zeus San saw death grin madly in his face as he knew that he'd been bitten in a vital part. He also knew that the spirit creature who'd bit him was much stronger than him. Even if they had met in face-to-face -face combat, he still would have beaten it, not to mention being ambushed by it. Therefore, he only had one thought left in his mind, to hold on to this spirit creature at all costs and protect his companions as they made their escape. Run. Don't let me die in regret. Zeus San's face contorted as he thrashed around like a madman. His four men looked at each other and knew that Zeus San was using his death to cover their retreat. They didn't hesitate as they about faced and charged outside. Even if there was an army surrounding them outside, at this moment, the inside of this secret room was patently more horrifying than the outside. Lu Wuji shivered and trembled all over as a depthless fear was revealed in his eyes. He looked over at Zhang Chen and wanted to quietly slip away. A smile played around Zhang Chen's lips as he ignored Lu Wuji's small movements. Lu Wuji was delighted to see that Zhang Chen was ignoring him and took off running. However, his face changed drastically upon his first step outside. There were at least tens of thousands of dragon teeth guards surrounding the premises. The person he hated the most, Tian Chao, was watching Lu Wuji with a mocking smile on his face. Lu Wuji, you won't die if you don't commit actions that condemn you to death. You colluded with external enemies and jeopardized the safety of the Sky Oral Kingdom. What else do you have to say for yourself? Tian Chao asked coldly. Lu Wuji's face was ashen colored as he tried to defend himself. Don't you slander me, Tian Chao. I just happened to be patrolling this area and was about to investigate these suspicious people. You. Ha ha ha. Lu Wuji. You still want to sprout excuses even when things are already at this point. I hope you can convince the king and honor and tutor Yi Chong Lu with these words. Tian Shao's gaze was full of contempt. He looked at Lu Wuji as if he was looking at a dead man. Lu Wuji knew that if he lost his footing here, then it would all be over. He had to stubbornly fight to the end, even if he'd been caught in the act. As long as he firmly denied anything until his uncle appeared, there would still be a hope of being able to turn this around. Tian Shao, you're framing me. I'm going to complain to the general director about you. Tian Shao laughed easily. You've always harmed others greatly by framing them. Lu Wuji. I know you're in your death struggles, so I can clearly tell you, this is all pointless. I'm framing you. Did I invite those people from the hidden hand? Did I trick you into coming here? Did I cause all those injuries on Zhu Tong's body? Lu Wuji, this kind of living on while helping others secretly will not be tolerated by the country. This time, you won't be able to slip one past this time even if you have an all-powerful backer. Lu Wuji yelled, Tian Chao, you are just a general in the Dragon Teeth Guard, as am I. You have no right to point and yell at my face. Get out of my way, I'm going to see the general director. I have grievances to report. Lu Wuji also knew that there was no point in flapping his lips with Tian Chao at the moment. His only hope was to find his uncle to discuss a responding strategy. Tian Chao's face grew frosty and he smiled coldly. Get out of the way, Lu Wuji, you're too naive. I'm here on behalf of the crown prince to arrest serial criminals. You aided and abetted them, and thus are the same as them. Men, arrest Lu Wuji. Kill him if he resists. Lu Wuji was slightly panicked to see Tian Chao taking such a hard line, but he also knew that he couldn't back down at this time. Only death awaited him if he backed down. His face sank as he shouted, who dares make a move? I'm the nephew of Vice Director Yang Jun M as of his own son. Whoever makes a move against me is making a move against him. One had to say, Vice Director Yang still had great influence within the Dragon Teeth Guard. The guard's momentum was actually somewhat arrested by Lu Wuji's words after his shout. Suddenly, a remote voice traveled in from behind Lu Wuji. Vice Director Yang? Is he that incredible? I'm precisely going to make a move against you. What are you gonna do about it? A figure shot out from inside and kicked out at Lu Wuji's butt when the words finished sounding. Bam. Lu Wuji was stopped downwards into the ground and flew out more than 10 meters, bouncing off the ground. At least half the bones in his body were broken as fresh blood spewed out of his mouth and his donjon was destroyed. This kick had taken half of Lu Wuji's life with it, Zhang Chen. The person who kicked out was of course, Zhang Chen. Zhang Chen's body was like a kite as it rolled and landed in front of Lu Wuji, his foot firmly planted on the latter's face. Take a good look Lu Wuji, the person hitting you is me, Zhang Chen. Fresh blood spewed out of Lu Wuji's mouth as the violent light of viper shot out of his eyes. Zhang Chen, you dumb animal, who the hell do you think you are to dare and hit me? Just you wait. My uncle's not going to let you get away with this. He'll kill you, your entire family, and your entire family clan. Just you wait. These groundless threats were like a light breeze by Zhang Chen's ears, completely without any power at all. Revealing a coldly detached smile, Zhang Chen's tone was remote. Lu Wuji, I don't need your reminder to know that your uncle participated in this matter. Don't you worry, I won't let a single one of those who participated in this matter off the hook. I'll send your uncle to you to keep you company on the way to hell. Lu Wuji had thrown all caution to the wind at this time as he started laughing uproariously. Madness, madness. You are just a country bumpkin, and you want you fight against my uncle? Why don't you look at yourself in the mirror? Are you worthy of fighting against my uncle? Tian Shao also walked over and said coldly, 
Lu Wuji, you are the one who should look in the mirror. How can you bear to retain a straight face at a moment like this? Lu Wuji grinded out through gritted teeth. Tian Chao, you pathetic lackey. Don't you be too proud. I'll settle my debts with you one day as well. Zhang Chen barked out in laughter upon hearing this. Do you hear that brother Tian? We'll be the one suffering if we don't pull up evil by its roots. Give Lu Wuji over to me. Tian Chao was a bit taken aback, but immediately nodded. All right. According to the rules, Lu Wuji was a general of a dragon teeth guard. In order to kill him, one had to go through a trial in the guard. However, Tian Shao naturally wouldn't go against Zhang Chen's wishes with how things currently stood. Young Master Chen, do things cleanly. Tian Shao said lowly. Zhang Chen chuckled. Where is Go Jin? Go Jin was one of Zhang Chen's personal guards and thus had participated in this time's operations. He walked out from within the crowd. Zhang Chen said lightly. Lu Wuji colluded with killers from the hidden hand, kidnapped Zhu Tong, and conspired to assassinate me. As my follower, and Zhu Tong's comrade, what say you? Go Jin chuckled and took out his sword. He should be executed of course. Do it. Zhang Chen said faintly. Zhang Chen had no hesitation at all in killing Lu Wuji. The latter had thoroughly stepped over his bottom line this time, and was a person who had to die in Zhang Chen's eyes. Understood. Go Jin's blade drew back and was about to come crashing down. A loud roar exploded at this moment. Hold. A group of men rushed in from outside the encirclement. The person in question was Lu Wuji's supervisor, Xin Wu Dao. This person had been one of Prince Yi Dao's followers during Tudor Yi's birthday banquet, and was the same culprit who'd captured the Kiao brothers. This person was also an actual general within the Dragon Teeth Guard and one of Yang Zhao's confidants. He held quite a bit of power within the Dragon Teeth Guard and was even more powerful than newcomer Tian Shao, Zhang Chen. Xin Wu Dao's gaze was cold and harsh. Who the hell are you to use a legal punishment to execute one of the vice generals of my Dragon Teeth Guard? It was as if Liu Wuji had seen his salvation when he saw Xin Wu Dao. Brother Xin, save me, save me. This group of traitors want to rebel. Has my uncle arrived? Xin Wu Dao's face was like frozen water as he didn't have time to respond to Liu Wuji. Turning his head to speak to Tian Shao instead, Tian Shao, as a vice general of a dragon teeth guard, how can you sit idly by while a band of thugs uses a legal punishment on one of your comrades? Is this your integrity as a general of the dragon teeth guard? However, Tian Shao wasn't the same person as of old. How would he be frightened with just a few words from Xin Wu Dao? General Xin, I'm under orders to carry out the law. As for how I carry it out, that seems to be my business and you have no right to interfere. This Lu Wuji colluded with external enemies and brought danger to our sky oral kingdom. As a result. He has forfeited his status as a Dragon Teeth Guard comrade a long time ago. Not to mention, it's not your shift today. What's your intentions in bringing so many people here to interfere with me applying the law? Tian Shao wasn't a pushover either. He had the crown prince at his back and naturally spoke out with a loud voice. Not to mention that the current situation was very disadvantageous towards Yang Zhu. How could he be frightened by Yang Zhao's confidant then? I've brought people here to stop you from committing a perverse act. We haven't decided on whether or not Lu Wuji is guilty. He's my underling and I'm taking him back to see the general director. If the general director says he's guilty, then he's guilty. If the general director says he's innocent, then it's you who's setting him up. Xin Wu Dao was laying down the law with quite some authority as he wasn't count by Tian Shao at all. With the way things had developed, it was obviously that everyone was prepared for a fight. Xin Wu Dao has also received Yang Zhao's order that he was to snatch Lu Wu Ji back at no matter the cost. Tian Shao had brought a lot of people, but so had Xin Wu Dao. The two generals of the Dragon Teeth Guard glared at each other, face to face. Zhang Chen however, laughed at this moment and said to Go Jin, Go Jin. You are my man and I am telling you to do it. What are you waiting for? Go Jin chuckled as his blade waved and snapped downwards cleanly. Blood geezered as Lu Wuji's head flew into the sky, borne aloft by a column of blood. This scene came exceedingly fast as even Xin Wu Dao didn't have time to react. By the time he reacted, Lu Wuji's head was already in midair. His eyes hadn't even had time to close, and a look of shock and incredulity was still written all over his face. Xin Wu Dao was shocked senseless. He hadn't thought that Zhang Chen would be so bold as to execute Lu Wuji in front of so many dragon teeth guards, 